late fall trip continued as we headed south from Myrtle Beach to Blythe Island Regional Park Campground. The tow ended up being about 229 miles, which for us is a pretty easy tow day. All right, good morning, and we are continuing our trip down south here. We are in Brunswick, Georgia at the Glynn County Blythe County Park. And again, it reaffirms our belief that county, city, and state, parks. and state parks are just the best value and just absolutely the the way to go as far as camping goes. This place is beautiful. So it is. Uh, we're gonna go check things out, take a walk around and, and temperatures are mild, 70 degrees. And yeah, look, we're, we're in shorts. We're in shorts. Woohoo! Yay! So uh yeah, that's always a good thing. So we'll uh walk around and give you a tour. Walk around, check things out. So you can see how beautiful everything is. You got the little palm fronds down at the bottom here. Baby palm trees, maybe? I don't know. Um, Spanish moss. That is the best. And this neat old tree right in the middle of the road here. It's really pretty at this campground. Yes. And the spaces are nice and wide open. Yep. And each of the spaces come with a concrete pad. Yep. We'll show that in our quick little campground review. So that makes uh, setting up super nice. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down all right, you can see here the site here at the Blythe, Glen County, Blythe Island Park. And really nice sites. Here's that pad that Cindy was talking about earlier. You can see this really nice pad. And it's pretty good because the, the surface here is kind of sandy. So that keeps a lot of the sand from getting inside your rig, but nice big wide spots. A lot of vegetation around. We've got our Wi-Fi extender up there you can see on the pole. The Wi-Fi here is acceptable but the extender makes it even better. Coming around the back. Check this out. Every site here at this county park has full hookups. So we have our sewer connection. Our 30 amp. There are 50 amp sites here too, but we just have the 30 amp. And yeah, just a really nice site here. So we're Cindy's getting ready. We're gonna have a typical day here, heading off to some farmers markets and go from there. Well, good morning. We are here at the Brunswick waterfront where we're gonna be hitting the farmers market because Cindy has something that she needs to find. Hopefully, some boiled peanuts. Yes, that Let's should see. be fun. So let's go ahead and hit this farmer's market and see what they have. All right, see what have you found here? Some boiled peanuts. They look fantastic. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. You can see they're boiled peanuts. They're raw peanuts that are boiled. You only really get these down south, huh? Exactly. And they're kind of soft. And squishy. But, oh so good. So they meet your seal of approval? I think so. Um, this one kind of broke up a little bit. Okay, Sid, what have we stumbled on here? We have the Silver Bluff Brewing Company yep. with an attached food truck. Yep. Selling Mexican style brew. And it's a beer garden. How cool is this? Normally, of course, we would have just asked to sit at somebody's table, but in these days of uh, social distancing and stuff, that doesn't really work. So, um, yeah, we got some sweet tacos, tacos from the food truck and some chips. And Cindy got an American lager and I got an amber from Silver Bluff Brew. Let's go ahead and give it a chop. Well, we made fast work of those tacos. How about the beer? The beer is excellent, as you can see. Yep. 
and the tacos were excellent as well, but you had to like cilantro. Yeah, they were very cilantro. <laughs> um, yeah, my, I have the Martin, it's good, <clears throat> kind of brown, amber. The only thing I would say about this experience is that if I was this brewery here, I would let the food truck right there kind of plug in so we wouldn't have to listen to the generator the whole time. Right. That would have been my recommendation. But otherwise... Otherwise, it's good. Delicious. Off to experience Brunswick some more. And on the way out, we picked up a six-pack of beer, courtesy of one of our supporters who hit our magic beer button. The beer was indeed awesome, so thanks so much. All right, we're here at Richland Rum, which is being touted as the best rum in all of the United States. So, uh... I'm gonna give it a try. Cindy's gonna do the tasting scene that I'm driving. And it's brewed here, or distilled here in Georgia. The brewery, or the, I keep saying brewery. The distillery here is spectacular. It's very beautiful. And, um... Cindy is gonna give it a shot. Give it a shot with some tastings here. Literally. And you can see the small batch distillery here, the stills. They do they grow all their own sugar cane, which is super cool in Georgia. And then they lay some of it here, they laid some of it in Georgia. The stuff comes where they mash it west of here in these totes. And they do the fermentation. So all in this cool little building here. What was your overall impressions? And you had five different yes, rums. Yes, there were five different rums, each aged differently. So this is the lightest one that was aged only like a couple months. Right. And so you can see the light color. And it actually had a higher proof. And then there was the second one, which was aged a little longer. You can see the darker color. Very nice. This is their special cast, what, what do they call it, a cast? Uh, cast strength, so it's not uh, diluted. Kind of like the maker's mark. Yep. Um, and this one was interesting because it was made in pork barrel. Yep, so halfway through the uh, aging process, it goes into a winery. They send the barrels to a winery. They put port wine in that for a year, and they send the barrels back, and the rum goes into the same barrel. Yeah, so it has some overtones of port, which is really, really good. That's excellent. And this last one was interesting because it was mixed with some IPA. Yep, same thing. So three years, out for a year uh, in Athens, GA with an IPA and they send it back and the rum goes back in. So it gets a little bit of a hoppy flavor. Yes, it's, a, it's an interesting blend. Yeah, and I definitely get some hoppiness to that. So overall, Sid, which was your favorite? Well, so far, these two were my favorite. So those, that's gonna be, I'm choosing between one of these two. Excellent. Which is the, um, not the cast strength, because that one had a bit of a bite to it, but the second one, which was aged a couple of years, and the one that was aged in the port barrels, also as well. Awesome. All right, well, good morning. It is a travel day. We are heading out from uh, Lynn County here and off to Melbourne, Florida for Thanksgiving week. And this park was gorgeous. I mean, as I've said before, we really enjoyed it. I'd say the only thing probably that's a negative is you get the smell from that cellulose plant. This plant produces cellulose, that fluffy absorbent stuff found in diapers. And the sheer magnitude and size of this place blows me away. They boil down a thousand truckloads of yellow pine per day. Yeah, I said truckloads, not a thousand pounds. And in doing so, they use 31 million gallons of water per day. I'll put a link in the description from the article where I pull that out of, but that just blows me away. And um, you can definitely smell it a little bit. Uh, if you're... One of my Citadel classmates, though, you'll remember it well because it smells exactly like that first day, that river funk coming off the Ashley River combined with the smell of sweat and new uniform stink, and you get a really good bad memory for me. So really good memories. Um, but if you don't like that smell, uh, you might get it a little bit here. But yep, so off to Melbourne. Let's pack this puppy up. Next week on Love Subbin. 
We ended our late fall trip by heading north, and we hit a bunch of campgrounds in succession. And we also hit some really bad weather on our way up, which we don't ever like to do. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you have a favorite Georgia campground. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.